This is a story of 24 young Nigerians from different ethnic, tribal, and religious backgrounds who, by happenstance, became a family in Kaduna State, the center of learning. These men and women took the brave step to apply for the Kashim Ibrahim Fellowship, a year-long non-partisan leadership development program created by the Kaduna State Government under the tutelage of Malam Nasir El Rifai to bring young leaders together and equip them to address the problem of leadership, governance, statehood, and nation building. The steering committee received over 1,000 applications, which were reviewed and narrowed down to 451 candidates, 214 of whom underwent preliminary evaluation and moved to the next round. Following that, 108 candidates were selected and required to submit a three-minute video highlighting their aspirations and inspirations. The top 50 videos were evaluated by the KIF Governing Board, and these 24 fellows emerged as the best of the bunch. The first expanded cohorts of the Kashmir Ibrahim Fellowship, they moved to Kaduna State and later became the class of Gamji. This is our story. Honestly, I used to think Kaduna State was like red sand and mud houses. I remember calling my friend who told me to apply that, hey, is, is there a pharmacy there? You know, do I have to travel like seven seas to, you know, go buy stuff? But on coming here, I was, I was shocked and very impressed, you know, with the urban feel to Kaduna. Prior to my coming to Kaduna, you know, Kaduna State has always been in the news for various reasons, particularly insecurity. And then coming to Kaduna, I saw that uh, it wasn't as bad as it's, you know, the, the media painted it. I could, uh, you know, I, I saw and experienced that horror of peace. And coming from Joss and being very aware of the crisis that happens down there, I just had this notion that, well, it's just similar to home. And there was still the scary part of it though. But then coming here, I realized it's not as bad as, you know, it is being portrayed over there and on the media. So it's really amazing. I heard about KIF from my kid sister, who heard about it from a colleague of hers, Dr. Zayad of Kaldrima, the years of Kaldrima. I can remember sometime in 2021, 2021, um, I spoke with a friend who randomly just mentioned um, Kashim Ibrahim Fellowship, after which I had to go do some research and then I had to now learn so much more about the fellowship and then I applied. I got to know about Kaya from a friend who lives in Kaduna. Um, I was in my house one day and I saw a random message pop up and it was um, the application process link he sent to me and he said, hey, you should try this. I see you're passionate about public service and development and I think this would be very useful. And I decided to give it a shot. A fellow from the third cohort sent me her video when she got to the final stage of sending videos. And there was a lot of background noise in the video and she asked me to please help her reduce the background noise. So that was how I got to know about the fellowship. KIF is designed to instill in fellows a firm knowledge of good governance and to offer a structure that will guide them towards active participation in and dedication to public service and informed leadership in Nigeria. This was accomplished through educational seminars aimed at stimulating discussions and introspection on various leadership values and philosophical learnings, speaker series sessions that allowed fellows to interact with national and global leaders and draw lessons from their experiences, policy trips that expose fellows to the fundamentals of viable policy designs, regular brown bag meetings at government agencies to understand how MDAs work, trips to local governments that allowed fellows face the reality of government at the grassroots level. All of these elements increased and strengthened fellows' understanding and appreciation of leadership while also stretching their minds. This revolution in the development of fellows' leadership potential has been a vital experience, and we're all grateful to our visionary, Malam Nasir El Rufai, for this once-in-a-lifetime chance of refinement and service. For me, the care of application uh, was a straightforward process because all the information were available on the portal. So all I had to do was to supply the relevant information and the documents and wait for the progress of the application. The KIF application process was seamless. It had five stages where you move from one stage, you get emails that you've made it to the next stage, but all in all it was seamless. Well, it was pretty easy in that we had like four, the steps were clearly outlined, 
Then the first three stages, we got emails really early and I'm just excited that it all panned out and I got to have this experience. I would say the application process was seamless, uh, very easy. Um, the website was user friendly. My most memorable work placement um, was working with the deputy governor, working with someone at that high level um, in government. Kaduna State government particularly was um, very interesting and delightful. And I'll tell you that my best posting was to Kadipa, largely because it is a youthful organization with the age bracket, the average age between 30 to 35. Kaduna State Scholarship and Loans Board. The reason is that I think that they're doing such an a whole song work. That would be MOJ, Ministry of Justice, because I'm a lawyer by profession and it was like I was back home. So far so good. I would say that the State Social Investment Office is my favorite and my most memorable. My most memorable work placement would be Kaduna Market. Uh, it was my first posting and I totally enjoyed it because I was immersed in what they were doing at the agency. This speaker series has been one of my best components of the fellowship, uh, primarily because of the fine line of speakers that will get to hear their stories, learn from their journeys, and uh, pick key lessons and experiences from. Um, the brown bag meetings being that it gave me an opportunity and other fellows, the opportunity to immerse ourselves in the works that other ministries, departments and agencies of the state um, conduct. For me, the favorite aspect of the educational component is the workshops. We got to learn about systems thinking, critical thinking, emotional intelligence, scholarly writing workshop, and most importantly, micro and macroeconomics. Um, I would say the challenge of leadership and the good society because this has opened my mind in a very big way, seeing the philosophical thoughts of great leaders like Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela and how they were willing to die for their convictions and how they were willing to make their country great regardless of the circumstances. Speaker series session because in the speaker series session I had the opportunity to meet with people I ordinarily wouldn't have the opportunity to and uh, to, to get exposed to their life experiences and their journey. My favorite aspect of the educational component is our visit in South Africa, where we went to Stellenbosch and we went to visit uh, the Nelson Mandela prison where he stayed for like, about 27 to 28 years. And uh, we have the experience of the Robin Island. My most memorable parts of um, the Community Service Week is when we renovated the a primary healthcare center at Tudungwada. Um, I could see the joy on the people's face and um, also the amount of resources and uh, work that was put in. Uh, I think it's uh, quite memorable. Uh, the most memorable part of the CSWU was uh, our pro security project uh, at Kakura Village, Millennium City. The best um, activity for me was our first aid training, which was in CSW2. Why? Because this was an informed um, and intentional activity um, due to the insecurity crisis that we've had. Um, it's, it's really important for us to learn how to treat gun wounds, how to treat you know, fractures, just injuries that happen on a daily basis. I really like the commitments because we brainstorm, we plan and execute impactful projects my key lesson is that always if there is will, there is hope. And so long there is commitments, then what seems to be impossible, it will really be possible. Well, the Community Service Week for me was an amazing opportunity to get to know the people in my community. You, you know, it's very humbling when you see how our impact is being taken. Something that within Philos we deliberate about and we feel is not as important as we think it is. We take it to the people and, you know, you just see how you have literally transformed their lives. Uh, my first impression of other fellows was, um, I think, I put every, every the 23 other fellows ahead of myself. And I think I look at everyone as somebody I need to learn from and see how I can um, probably match up to. We came from different places and we are living together. Actually, we came from 16 different states and we're living together in one lodge without any issue. Fine, we had issues, but without any serious issue and we've all become friends. 
I I don't think I really had a first impression. I think the only one I could remember was when I was sitting at the lounge and AIA. So he approached me and was like, hey, how are you doing? I said, fine. So that was, I think that was from the onset, that was how we became friends. I thought they looked younger. I mean, I had seen the list with everyone's age, but by the time I got here and I saw them, I was like, okay, they look younger. And then their energy got me astonished. I think at the end of the day, I came with a blank mind. I didn't come expecting any kind of behavior from anyone. So getting to know people was really amazing individually. And I don't think my first impression matters as much as what I feel about them right now. How disciplined that since they were able to scale over the whole application process. So I was going to meet an ensemble of great minds. So I saw it as a very challenging task. And then I saw them from different backgrounds, which even from the fellowship, we came from different states. Um, we are all going to stay under the same roof. I think my favorite aspect of the fellowship was the trip to South Africa, specifically um, the journey to Robin Islands from the Mandela Gateway. So the Kashimi Brain Fellowship has influenced my line of thought, I must say, and it has changed my view to things. I now see things from a systemic angle. My favorite aspect is the educational components because it's so rigorous and it contains a lot of things. The fellowship has influenced my life in every aspect, educationally, um, especially networking. My favorite aspect of the Kashmir Brian Fellowship is our experience at the community service, where I see how people at the community level are being touched. There are a lot of benefit for the fellowship. It has been stressful, honestly, but then I've learned a lot of things. My favorite aspect of the Kashmir Brian Fellowship is the brown bag meetings, where we get to learn about the amazing things the MDs are doing without even working there. The local government tours, um, these tours give fellows um, an understanding of what happens at the grassroots level. My favorite aspect of the fellowship has always been the fellowship component, where you get to meet fellows from diverse backgrounds. I would say the seminars because we're all vulnerable, we're open to each other, we're free, and yeah, I would say the seminar. I would say that I've rediscovered myself I have found myself again, and then, like uh, the title of uh, one book that Malin gave us, Hearts Touched with Fire. I feel like I'm touched with fire now. I'm ready for the challenges that uh, the wider world. I won't say I have a favorite aspect because I feel every part of every part of the fellowship has its own impact on me. Um, the education component in that we have been able to go through um, several seminars, workshops and trainings. My favorite aspect has been the community service week. I thoroughly enjoy that week. This is a no-brainer. For me, it's the education component. It's been amazing learning so much within so little period of time. Um, I would say it's been the work placement, and this is because I've worked in different fields, because all my life I've just worked in law-related fields, but for this particular one, I've worked with other professionals like engineers. I would say is the fellowship, uh, because uh, for the first time, I am interacting with Nigeria. The fellowship has made me a better version of myself. It has made sure that I have started thinking more outside the box, and I have actually become to trust people more. The fellowship provided me with um, three things, um, or let me say two. First, it gave me access to uh, material and human resources. Then secondly, it gave me an opportunity, opportunity in the sense that uh, it, gives me, it gave me an opportunity to learn. My favorite aspect of the Kashimi Brian Fellowship would be the education component because um, in there we have the speaker series, the brown bag uh, meetings, we have the workshops, you know, we have the seminars, you know, which gave me the chance to go to South Africa. And... Uh, my favorite aspect will be the community service component. And this, this is because uh, in the community service component, I had the chance to give back to the host communities. I think my biggest takeaway from this fellowship is that the fellowship gave me a sense of belonging. With the fellowship, you get to be in meetings with people that you've only ever heard about before. I would say the education component, most especially the seminar readings, yeah. I have two actually. First is the fellowship, you know, with different people coming from different um, 
cultures, religion, ethnicity, and all of that. And secondly, the education component. In any little enclave I find myself, I try to be the change that we want to see in everyone. Um, what's next for me after KIF is um, personal development, and I'm really open to every opportunity that aligns with my life goal. I think I'm still pondering, but I just believe that whatever comes next is going to be something that has to do with the public sector. Hopefully I'll be in the public sector because I need to apply myself with all the skills that I've learned. Uh, well, uh, I hope that uh, in not too long to come, uh, I will uh, answer the call of service. Um, after care, as someone that is passionate about public service, and good governance. Um, I'm looking to see how I can fully immerse myself in public service. Next for me is to go and put that to use, which I've learned in Kashi Ibrahim for the past one year. Um, see what happens, um, explore other opportunities, you know, further myself and take on a master's, probably. I'll um, go back to politics where I can be able to change lives of my people. After KIF, we'll see how it goes. I'm going back to school, definitely going to increase my capacity, my MSc and my PhD. And uh, I'm really coming to immerse myself in public service. I'll be going into self-development. I think I'll go back to do my another master's and then immerse myself in public service. With the kind of education we have gotten, leadership education I have gotten in KIF, the most reasonable thing is to, you know, give back to the society, be willing, you know, to uh, serve. Being a very, um, you know, impactful change agent in the community, in the society, and really applying myself wherever I find myself. I believe it's to go out there and practice all I've learned. Because if I learn all these things and don't put them into practice, then of what use is it? What next? Progress, <laughs> I would say. But I will take my time to rest so I can digest all I have learned in the past one year. Uh, I think that will be a secret how you will get to know very soon. First of all, I will just take a break and just recalibrate. But I hope to still continue in the public sector. Wow, after I have, I'm going back to public service. I you are aware I'm a lecturer, so I'm going back to the university. The world is my oyster. I'm going to do great things. Nothing in particular, but I have a great future ahead of me. <laughs> yeah, after KIF, I'm going back to my work um, to continue serving. And um, I feel um, KIF has uh, structured me in a way to serve. Uh, next after KIF would be continuous personal development. Um, I'm open to opportunities. I mean, I want to continue to serve because I've never ever seen myself in public service. And that's in the hands of Kismet. After KIF, I am hopeful that I am going to start working in the administration of Governor Samuel Ulu of Lagos State. And if that doesn't work out, I hope to go and finish up my master's degree. Transformational. Metaphorical. Transformational. Didactic. Life-changing. Exceptional. Transmutational. Metamorphic. Bewildering. Impactful. Enlightening. Sensational. Transformational. Exhilarating. Empowering. Investment. Transformative. Life-changing. Exhilarating. Revolutionary. Rejuvenating. Transformational. Phenomenal. Enlightening. Mm -hmm.